Hey sis, uh, so I watched a bunch of these flat earther videos per your request and there's most of them are really easily debunked. Um, you know if, if you look at what I have here on the screen with this flat earth model that they say is real, let's go ahead and make that sun a little bigger. <clears throat> it, it doesn't explain a lot of things so it, it, according to this if I were in Australia I would be able to see Polaris which would be up in here somewhere right you know Polaris the North Star uh, of course you can't because it's in the southern hemisphere on the sphere we live on and that's why you don't see it. Of course, they'll tell you, oh, it's, it's perspective. You can't see forever. Well, you can go anywhere in the United States or the Northern Hemisphere and see Polaris. That's one thing. I'm not going to sit here and debunk the whole thing because it's it's totally pointless. You know, you're so easily duped by, by so many things. And if this video makes you mad, well, it just goes to show that you're incapable of, of logic and reasonable thought and I imagine this will make you mad and that's fine it doesn't bother me <clears throat> also it doesn't explain solar and lunar eclipses um, if this is the Sun here and let's say, let's say that the Sun is just a little bit higher in the moon well yeah you could get that eclipse but what about when our, our planet casts a shadow on the moon what then how does that happen if the sun just spins around here? Is there another sun like down up underneath here, right, right in here? That that's really big. I mean, like really big, massive. And it it, it must be able to cast a shadow onto the the moon, right? <laughs> of course, with this flat Earth and the moon being a whole lot smaller than what you know we know it to be uh, there would be no shadow on the moon from the earth would there no because this thing is fucking ginormous compared to this little tiny moon so it would just block the whole thing out right <laughs> I'm not as pissed as you as I am at these people who dupe you so easily you know, and, and of course, from your perspective, I'm the dumbass. Oh, that's way too big. All right, because I'm, I'm stupid over here. Let's make this a giant fucking super, super sun. The super sun. Okay. So there's that. Yeah, that that's just a couple of little things right there that should be more than enough to convince you what you're looking at it's totally fucking stupid but whatever yeah I, I watch some of these things and they say oh you can you can take this picture right here and you can lay it over a sphere and it'll fit perfectly well I've got a little test for you something that'll We'll just use this nasty ass napkin here. Okay, and let's say I, I've got it cut out round. Take that round piece of paper. This is something you can do your damn self. Take that round piece of paper and then try to lay it over a sphere. Okay, try to lay it over a sphere and make it stretch around the sphere. And then look at what happens to the continents. Okay, once you see that, then you'll realize they're full of shit there's no way that'll work there's a reason for that <laughs> it's like with this shit right here god damn this shit's so fucking stupid anyway you're, I'm so frustrated and angry that doesn't work because once you do it it's going to distort everything distances will change because that's flat 
once you try to wrap it around a sphere, it's going to change everything. You will not be able to take this flat picture and wrap it around a spherical moon and have everything still line up. You could take it and measure the distance from from here to here or from from point here to point here or point here to point here. Measure them before you try to wrap it and then wrap it so that the all that stuff still measured out right. Can't be done. Cannot be done. And you also brought up about the false color images. Well, they do that to show temperature variations, cloud density, things like that, and also to make it a little cooler, I think. I don't know that that's necessarily what they do it, but that was this is the Orion Nebula. Here's what the Orion Nebula actually looks like. It's the same picture, same thing. So, uh, and, uh, and another one there saying that, oh, well, there's no such thing as satellites, and satellites don't ever fall to Earth. Well, look at this. Russian I don't satellite. know what I'm seeing right now. It is a massive shooting happened. star. Oh, my gosh. All right. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that could very well be That's the place. picture of the. That's the satellite that I took, or the ISS. That's that's the video of the ISS that I took. I don't know why it's not in HD. Uh, we seem to be experiencing technical difficulties. But anyway, you you get the point. Okay, there are such things as satellites. Um, I've filmed them. I've witnessed them. I and uh, <laughs> we both grew up looking through fucking telescopes. I mean, how you can sit there and 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 say that it's all a big fucking illusion is just beyond me. I mean, you you've been duped by Christianity and Mormons and uh, pretty much everything that comes along dupes you into believing it wholeheartedly, without question. I mean, you come across this new information, which is just some recycled bullshit, and and you you take it as it's gospel, you know. I mean, these these are truths because the the you know the government is fooling us on everything, right? You know, this is all a big fucking government conspiracy. Did you know that Aristotle was the one who came up with the spherical Earth in 300 B.C. So you're looking at 2,300 years ago, people were figuring out, oh, okay, this is not flat. It's not flat. So, I mean, so, and, and then you get mad at me because I don't want to believe your stupid bullshit. For years, you know, you always come to me and will say, why didn't you help me? Why didn't you, why didn't you clue me in? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? I've tried numerous times with every time you get into something new I try to explain to you hey don't you know take this with a grain of salt look at this as, as you know more like entertainment as opposed to to reality there it goes I guess we're having some internet problems but that was a video that I shot of the ISS oh holy shit it went behind the clouds how'd that happen I mean, if, if it's not real, you know. And then, not only was I able to film that, oh shit. I don't know what's up with our internet right now. But I was also able to verify it on the ISS tracker. If I can get this fucking thing to work. So, yeah, there it is. I was able to go inside and track that, okay? Did you forget that our cousin works for Space Command at Vandenberg Air Force Base? I mean, is the conspiracy that deep that they, they're paying, you know, hundreds of people to track these things that don't fucking exist just, you know, to keep the lie going? <laughs> I swear, sis. 
logic and common sense have escaped you. What the fuck's happened here? And seriously. It, it just, it really bothers me that you're so easily taken in by stupid shit. Yeah, you, you, you know, and, and you think that, okay, well, the military and government, they're all doing this shit so that, you know, they can keep us suppressed and, you know, they make trillions off us and this, that, and the other. And, you know, okay, these flat earthers, they're, they're not, they're doing this to wake us up, open our eyes, all this stupid shit. Um... These people are YouTubers. All of those people, everyone that I checked out, all their monet or all their accounts are monetized. Every one of them is making money off their videos. <laughs> it's just it's unreal to me, sis. I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. I really don't. And you think it's a big government conspiracy? Oh, they made you crazy. You know what, sis? Mental illness runs in our family. We've had two successful suicides on dad's side of the family and self-destruction on mom's side. Uh, if you don't know, Aunt Nancy and our cousin Aunt Shirley's daughter both succeeded at suicide. <coughs> but it's just... I, I just don't understand you. you. You've lost your fucking mind. You really have. And I love you, and... And what's even more disturbing to me is that you have somehow gotten Kenny to believe this bullshit. <laughs> nah. Inside, I keep hoping, though, okay, he, well, he's just doing this to humor, humor you and, and keep the peace in the house, which seems most logical to me. But, uh, yeah, I just, I just don't know. You... You're going way out there, you know, and, and, you know, you say you've seen this demon out there, you know, you know, but there's no chance that you were hallucinating, right? You were able to see a demon 400 yards away in the rain at nighttime, right? I just don't know about you, sis. You done lost your damn mind. You really have. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to put it this way to you. But, you, you know. Your grasp on reality has slipped. Um, it's it's so disturbing. I mean, we, we've, we've fucking spent our, our, our youth looking through telescopes. Okay. Did you know that we had to... Do you remember the telescope? It had the... Uh, here, let me see if I can't find a fucking picture of it. Well, actually, I don't even want to do that. But it had the tracking motor on it. Okay? A tracking motor. Now, if you let that thing run, all what it does is it spins... If, if you, the star you're looking at is up here, it's going to spin and come down around this way and then back up around here. And it's just going to keep doing that. I know this because I've seen them used. You can go to Thunderfoot's channel and see these things. <laughs> and and where you live... When we grew up in San Diego, when you looked at Polaris, it was actually pretty damn close to the horizon. Okay? When we were up in Washington... Polaris was actually more up this way. You know why that is? Because we're in the northern hemisphere and we're closer to to the uh, North Pole, which is kind of where Polaris is, you know, centered on, uh, from our perspective on this planet, this spherical planet. And, and uh, they they. I watched this one video and they're talking about oh the well, the planets are all just lights in the sky that you know we've been made to believe this and that but in the same in the same fucking video they show amateur pictures of uh, Mars and Jupiter and Saturn and then they show the NASA enhanced vi uh, 
pictures. So what if they fucking enhance their pictures? That that doesn't take away from the fact that those fucking planets are there and they're fucking spheres. Okay? That's it. And you talk about having an open in mind. Sweetheart, your mind is so open that your fucking brain fell out. Seriously. I know you're going to be mad. And that's, like I said, that's fine. You know, you're going to sit there and think I'm stupid. And, uh, you know, in a few years from now, when you pull your head out of your ass and you go, Oh my God, my brother was trying to tell me the truth and he was right and this, that, and the other. Which always happens, by the way. You know, for the record. And, uh, you know... Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> what was some of the other stupid shit those fuckers were saying? Uh, God damn. I just, you know, I... I just don't even know what to say to you. I really don't. You know, it, it was like you're... Your uh, your big conspiracy about the woman who flew from Japan to L.A. and and they went into labor and they had to stop off in in fucking Alaska. And then I show you the pictures of flight paths across the Pacific. Well, why do they do that? Why do they fly in these big fucking arcs when they could just fly straight across? Well. It's because in case they run into trouble, they want to be as close to land as possible so that they can fucking land. I mean, this is embarrassing. This this is fucking embarrassing. I hear you are with a fucking master's degree, but you think the earth is flat. You know, <laughs> Damn. It's just unreal how how smart as well as incredibly stupid you are. But you're book smart. Logic, common sense, all that shit fucking left you. You just you're so clueless, it's unbelievable. You know, and it, and when it's not aliens or oh wait you got you don't believe in aliens anymore but when it's not one of these things it's always something else you know I, it, <laughs> what was I saying in that video they, uh, oh they talked about other space agencies oh well uh, you know are other space agencies in on it all around the world and instead of actually presenting any evidence they go into this oh well look there's a chevron in, in everybody's patch there's this fucking chevron y y yeah but that that doesn't prove anything it doesn't prove a goddamn thing you need to learn to be more critical uh <laughs> you use some of your whatever common sense you might have or or call somebody who does have common sense and can be critical and look at things objectively which you just don't seem to be able to do you've asked me to do you know look at this flat earth stuff I looked at it it's absolutely ridiculous ridiculous and bullshit uh, they present absolutely no evidence whatsoever they can't prove a goddamn thing and <clears throat> You know, they, the, their evidence is, oh, well, uh, if, if you're 30,000 feet up, the, the horizon's at eye level. If you tilt your head down, it is, yeah, that's true. That you can make the horizon go, if you look down, the horizon goes up. If you look up, the horizon goes back down. It's a weird fucking phenomenon. I don't know how all that works. Oh my god. This, this, there's the salt and sea. We took out about five. Ago, maybe. Yeah. See, that's looking downward right there. Looking down. So, yeah, the horizon's like way the fuck up there. Look at that. See how that. See how the fucking horizon. I mean, you can't even see the horizon now. 
that must mean that we live on a, a giant flat plane that goes on forever, right? But we can't see that far, even though, you know, well, well yeah, it's because of water and dust and all that shit. <laughs> oh, wait, I, how did the horizon come back? Holy fucking shit. It's at eye level, too. Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, I'm still looking downward. <sighs> just insane you've lost your mind completely there <laughs> we go holy shit look at the horizon now if we took the mountains out wouldn't the horizon be down here somewhere? Wouldn't be at eye level, though, would it? Be way the fuck down here. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. So, uh, th those are my jabs to you. Uh, I don't expect any anything to come of this at all. I, I know that you're well into your flat earth bullshit and, you know, the Zionists are out to get you. Just you. And that's fine. You know, mom and dad threw satanic naked parties and you were locked in a cage and tortured your whole life, apparently. I told dad all the stupid shit you've said and he uh, he's very very upset with you um, he he can't believe that you would even suggest that him and mom would do something like that to you or us I mean you know because apparently it happened to me and even though I have an excellent memory I somehow can't remember any other shit <laughs> Unbelievable, sis. Just unbelievable. You need to rethink your life. <laughs>